We're starting a 24-hour news channel, and we want you. I'm going to do the thing that God put Ron Burgundy on this earth to do. Have salon-quality hair and read the news. Megan Good was thrilled and a little scared to join the cast of the wild comedy Anchorman 2. I'm a huge fan of the first one. My sister had brought it to set when I was working on this film, and she played it every single day in the trailer to the point of where people started coming by my door and the next thing you know they'd be in the doorway and the next thing you know they'd be sitting in the room and we'd all be in there watching it and when I found out I got the part, I literally cried. I literally just like sat in my living room on my couch and just like cried for like 30 minutes. And then I didn't tell anybody for like a couple hours and I just was like shocked, you know? Um, and, and thankful, you know, that, that Adam and Will saw me as this character, so it's pretty cool. Hello, Mr. Burgundy. Oh. I'm black. You're black. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. I don't know why I can't stop saying black. And Megan enjoyed her girl power moments with co-star Christina Applegate. She's so funny, and she also is very quick on her toes, and just she has something about her in the way that she approaches it that isn't like anybody else. And she just kind of wanted to make me aware of like what I could look out for, what to expect. Um, and just gave me some kind of pointers, basically, and just really encouraged me and said, as another woman coming on this set, like, I salute you. I want you to do a fantastic job and, you know, make us proud. And I was just like, oh, thank you. So she was sweet. But I will say, on the day when our characters met, she brought the heat. So you have a black boss, and it's freaking you out. Is it freaking you out? A little bit. You freaked out? To be honest. Is it freaking you out? Oh, she's got a knife. I think you scared him. You can't shout at Brick. We're not all here to hold hands and sing Kumbaya. Black. I adore Will. He is, when I went in and I did the chemistry read with him, you know, people were asking me, like, what is he like? And I was like, he's like a gentle giant. Like, he is just very loving and sweet and very encouraging. He really, you know, tried to create an atmosphere where I could grow and, and really be comfortable just kind of coming out of my shell, doing something that, you know, I've done comedy before, but not this way. And he just really tried to make sure that I knew that it was okay to see what might happen and to just kind of, you know, trust that. I'm breaking down the barriers of race by assimilation. And on that note, which one of you convicts with the longest record can pass me the mashed oh potatoes? My.